Hi everyone, welcome to Storytime. I'm Sam Ida, a featured Asia Store author. For years, Asia Store at Asia Society has been a wonderful home to showcase my books, and now I'm excited to partner with Asia Store on this children's video series, where I'll be reading from Tokyo Papa Book. But why would the Shogunate have granted you authority to fire those retainers? Answer me. Enough. Chico looks up. Shh. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Narita Airport. Local time here is 4.30 a.m. Please remain seated until the captain turns off the fasten seatbelt sign. Tiredly, Chico says, Neko, we finally made it. Meow. He rubs his eyes. Remember, we're journalists. No time for fun. Chico pulls down his suitcase, accidentally hitting the person next to him. Yikes! Ow! Wait, I know this one. Sumimasen? Chico proceeds to the train, rather pleased with himself. He talks on his phone. Hi, Mom. We're on the train. We did get on standby, but that flight ended up canceled, too. I slept on a bench. It was totally fine. I'm a teenager now, you know. I won't lose the lens cap. They had food on the plane. Tell Aunt Hannah not to worry. I'll be there this afternoon. I'll take some pictures before, before they get home. Yeah, I know. I love you too, Mom. Bye. Whew. You doing okay, Neko? He looks down at his cat. Hmm, looks like some sort of festival happening in Asakusa. Let's go check it out. He yawns. Okay, Neko. He opens the carrier, lets the cat out. She jumps on his shoulder. Let's do this. Chico starts taking some pictures in Asakusa. Wow, I've got some good ones here. You want to sit down for a little while, Neko? We can rest a few minutes, but don't get too comfortable. Neko starts licking his paws. Chico lies down and immediately falls asleep. A dog walks by and starts barking at them. Neko gets spooked out and runs away. Then Chico wakes up. Neko? He wanders around the city searching for her. Neko! Where are you? She wanders into the stadium. Puzzled. Neko? There's a sumo match going on. Just beginning. I think I'm supposed to have a ticket. The one wrestler is doing the ceremony. Might as well get a few shots while I'm in here. Right as the match begins, Chico goes to take pictures and spots Neko in the audience. Just then, one of the wrestlers throws the other, and uh, the crowd erupts in applause and starts throwing their, their seat cushions in the air to celebrate. Neko runs away, and Chico runs out the door after her, but soon loses her in the city. I really need to find a bathroom soon, he thinks to himself. Chico comes upon a maid cafe. Ohio gozaimasu. Uh, toiru doku desu ka? He looks down at his travel guide. She points him to the restroom. Wow, how does this thing work? Chico pushes a button on the remote control. The maid. <laughs> looks at him, soaking wet, coming out of the bathroom, and giggles to herself. He wanders into the, back into the street. Meanwhile, there's a commotion nearby. Stop! Thief! It's Neko, 
running away with a, with a piece of fish from the monger. Chico spots her and starts chasing her into the train. But there's, it's too crowded for her to get to her. And uh, she jumps in a train and speeds off. Neko! Then Chico has an idea. He runs up the stairs out of the station. Taxi! Where to? responds the driver. Just go straight for now. You got it. Neko must be heading back to Tokyo Station. Can you get me there? Sure, but we're going to hit traffic. Where did you sp learn to speak English? I was a college student in Texas many years ago. Interesting. Did you study English? Philosophy. I went by John back then, but now I'm Yamato. My name is Chiko. It's short for Chionosuke. You're Japanese? Yeah, half actually. Hey! He spots an echo running away from some pet catchers. Keep the change! Starts running at, chasing after her. Neko! Hmm, strange kid, the driver says to himself. The cat jumps and starts running up the side of the sky tree. The pet catchers look up as Chico chases after her. Higher and higher, until she slips and lets go. But Chico reaches out and grabs her by the tail. Gotcha! But then his other hand starts slipping. Just as he's about to fall off, one of the workers comes down and comes down and takes a rope down and catches him. Next, we find Chico outside of his aunt's house. He takes his shoes off. Ding dong! Chico, you made it! His aunt hugs him. It's been so long, you probably don't remember us. The rest of the family bows to him. This is Neko. Mom sent her along to keep an eye on me. Ha ha ha, that sounds like her. I might need to borrow some clothes. And maybe a camera? Suddenly the doorbell rings. Ding dong! Who could that be? It's the driver from earlier. Sorry to disturb you. Your nephew left some things in my cab. He brings a suitcase. I can't believe you came all the way out here. Chico says gratefully. But how did you find... On your phone? Oh. Won't you come in? Ask Hannah. Ask the driver. I'm afraid I must get back to work. Call me if you need a lift. He hands over his business card. Thank you, Mr. Yamato. He tur Chico turns to his family. Hey, I brought something. He pulls out of his bag a box of saltwater taffy. It's considered de a delicacy in New Jersey. We have a surprise for you, too, his cousin says. We find the whole family at a pool in an onsen. Chico's splashing around. So, Chico... You're working on an article for the school paper, his aunt asks. Yeah, well, I'm pretty sure there must be a story here somewhere. Thanks for listening today. While we're all spending more time at home, I encourage you to follow Asia Store on Facebook and Instagram and visit asiastore.org to get to know more about their authors and browse the books online, including Tokyo Pop a Book. Be sure and tag Asia Store on social media, hashtag in this together to show we're more connected than ever.